Hello, YouTubers. This is Mr. Lamb of God here. Um, so, my video I uploaded yesterday was my stretch from 20 millimeters to 7 eighths um, with silicone tunnels. These guys here. You know all those places that say, don't fucking do that? Well, I probably should have listened. Um, the video of me stretching is still up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take it down yet. Um, I did change the description and advise people to not use this method. Not for individual purposes necessarily. I'm just saying I don't have any silicone allergies or anything, so I know it wasn't that. And I've been at this stretch for a few weeks now, so loud vehicles. I know it wasn't the fact that I didn't wait long enough, so the only thing I can leave it with, and I've had healthy ears since I started stretching pretty much, so pretty much all I can rack it up to is the silicone stretching. So my story begins yesterday. I got this pair of, I'm trying to block the overhead light there with my head um, this pair of 7 eighths tunnels I was stretching from 20 millimeters up to 7 eighths though these have huge like flares though so it's really not that big of a difference it's like a it's like half a size in standard pretty much because they're 13 16 and you would normally go well you'd tape but this is pretty much my version of taping. This ear is my good ear. This ear is my bitch ear. This ear is the one that got messed up. Like, this has five eights in it right now just to keep it open and so it doesn't, like, seal up on itself and get all nasty. Um, I'll pop this out so you can see what my ear looks like. It's not in, like, immense amount of pain or anything. I'm fine. I just want to maybe okay hold on we're gonna do a little room change here i'm gonna take you guys on an adventure i've been in like a different room for my past like four videos anyways just going into my bathroom to try to yeah, keep it this way try to get a little bit better lighting as you can see that's my dog she's huge um as you can see it is in Fairly rough shape. Bad quality camera, bad lighting and everything, but you can tell that that's not how it's supposed to be if you know anything about stretching ears, um, which I thought I did. So, I guess this is my video of me admitting to my mass amount of stupidity and admitting that I should have listened to everyone else who had experience with this because now that's my that's my ear I tried having the, this one back in but before this was going on I had the problem with the wearable area on this being way too thin which was solved with these but they're this like I'll start at the, the beginning this morning I woke up there's some pain in my ears I know from stretching that that's just not a good sign, and so I immediately take them out, shower, and I look at them when I get out of the shower, and I look at the tunnel, and like along the like edge in here, it looked like dried skin had like peeled off onto there, and apparently what that was, was a like weak, weird, fleshy spot in my ear that had like bonded to the silicone because I guess it's like somewhat porous I guess I know not to do that shit anymore but also telling you guys do not do that I would not even mess with it because I thought maybe if I didn't have any like allergies to this kind of stuff it really wouldn't bug me but as you can see it did sorry it's kinda late right now I just wanted to upload this video um to tell you guys do not do that and show you why I guess um, I had the taper for this size it looks 
ridiculous. <laughs> like having this in your ear. You have like a spike. Looks like a Bluetooth or something. Um, I had that in and that. It wasn't really having that. So then I put this in, but like I said, the wearable area is way too small. And I didn't want to put another silicone thing in it, and I didn't really want to put acrylic in it, because I've heard acrylic can be porous too. And the next smallest thing I had that wasn't one of these tiny wear area single flare plugs was 5 8 Well, I have three quarters, but that's just barely downsizing from this, so I... I wanted to give it some room and not keep it stretched. Because this is like, I have room in there. I just, I would hate to have, like wake up in the morning and it's happened with a couple like piercings that I've done. Like you can, it's just like solid, crusty nastiness. And I would just hate to wake up and have my ear be like that tomorrow. I'm just so pissed that this happened. I wish I would have just listened and fucking taped up or something. I tried taping up using my three quarters plugs, but I couldn't get up over the flare with the tape on and I only had like two layers of tape on. So don't know what that was all about, but um, I might try that approach, try taping again. Once this gets all healed up, I'm going to do like sea salt baths and rinse it with some hydrogen peroxide. Like, do peroxide first, but peroxide can make it really super dried out. So if you do that, you want to make sure you do sea salt baths afterwards to moisturize it. Um, hot sea salt baths. Probably what the next few days of my life is going to consist of, so... Do not do that. And this really sucks. Because this year's fine, though. This one I actually probably could have left the silicone in. I just didn't want to have risk having that one getting all screwed up, too. So I just went back down. Like, this one fits in here fine with the wear area and everything. This ear is like... Like, I'll show you what my normal ear looks like. My better ear, I guess. Ear lobe, I guess. Like, it doesn't look like 100% up to par or anything. Like, crap, my eyes look green on this. Um, But it's in much better condition than the other as you can see and like this I can just pop right in no problem the other one I was having to use the taper because it was really swollen and the other thing I would suggest um for based on my experience if it's really hot like your ear is really warm you want to make sure that you like after like a while of having it in like over 24 hours I would suggest getting that shit out and just making sure it's okay. Because every time something's gone wrong with mine, it's always been really super warm. I feel like that's a warning sign of, like, infection and bacteria and crap. Like, even now, this metal tunnel's, like, pretty warm compared to this one. So, I don't know, I originally didn't intend on making this a, like, full-length video, but I feel like I should fully inform you guys on what went down and... What is going on with my ear now? I don't know. Like I said, I have a really nice pair of 7 8 plugs coming from Omerica Organic that are like fucking custom built for my ears and were like 65 bucks. My mom got them for me for my birthday. And I just wanted my ears to be 7 8 so that I would be able to wear the plugs when I got them. And it was all antsy, and as soon as I got these yesterday, rather than heeding everyone's warnings and using, like, metal to upsize and everything, I just decided I would use my silicones. And it was a very crappy idea. Not that there is anything wrong with these silicone tunnels. They're nice. They're great. The flares look really obnoxiously huge, but I actually like them. Helps them stay in place a lot and keep your earlobe nice and centered on it. But I would not suggest upsizing with them. I've actually heard that it says on a lot of sites where they sell that kind of stuff to not upsize with silicone specifically. I just, like, didn't regard anyone's warnings for some reason. I have no clue what I was thinking. But 
just want you guys to not make the same mistake for the very few people that watch these videos anyways. Um, yeah, so that was why to not stretch with silicone, and my tale for you. I wish I would have some sort of picture or something of when I first took it out earlier, because let me tell you, it looked nasty. Like, all those, like, kind of like the pictures you see of, like, ears that are like, Pah! it was like, blah, blah. yeah, exactly. It was all, like, swollen out the front, like, pushing out in the front and leaving an opening, like, that big. Like, smaller than my thing, but it was, like, crusty and it bled for a second. Didn't continue bleeding, but it bled for a second. It was fucking disgusting. So now I'm going to perform sea salt baths and peroxide until the infection's gone. And hopefully I can at least get my three quarters one back in by then. And then it's only one stretch to this. And then one stretch to seven eighths. But I will be using either wood, metal, or stone next time. Not silicone. So yeah, everyone, this is Mr. Lamb of God, and hope you have a better day than mine was.